How's it going, everybody? Hope everyone's doing well today. Some news to talk about. I've seen a game last night, Eagles Jets Prisons finale. Uh, crazy, crazy game, 31 31 final. We'll get into that later. But uh, I'm going to start off with the news about Eagles trading for quarterback Gardner Minshew from the Jaguars. The Eagles trade six round pick, conditional six round pick for Gardner Minshew. First thoughts look, I like it. Uh, obviously, a much better upgrade than uh, Nick Mullins. Mullins was trash. They released him. And yeah, I mean, um, he's. Third year quarterback, solid numbers. I think 37 touchdowns, 11 picks, but 93 quarterback rating over his time, first couple of years in the league. And uh, yeah, he was pretty good his first year. Last year, trying to struggle a bit. But overall, he's a solid guy, better than Mullins. He'll be a number three quarterback. And he's uh, still, I think, two more years left on his um, rookie deal. Fike only one year deal. Fike will be number two. Uh, nothing to speculate. I see people, Ryan Clark put it out there. I just saw his tweet about how. This, uh, this signing of or trading of uh, Minshew, I don't know how, obviously the Eagles don't value Hurts, something like that, or talking about how it's uh, knock on Hurts, I don't think anything like that. Hurts the number one guy, but um, Flacco is the number two for now, but Minshew's got, Minshew's got to com come in here, compete hard, good strong guy, good quarterback to have in the room, be the number three, and he can be the number two if he has to, and maybe next year he'll be number two for the Eagles, but uh, overall, I like the move signing of, of trading for Gardner Minshew. My thoughts on that. Now we'll get into the game last night. Eagles Jets prison finale. A little delay for turf. Uh, dry out there after the rainstorm. Get into it. Uh, Joe Flacco in the offense, second team offense. Very good job. Very good job. Flacco, really strong night after rough uh, last week. Connected to um, Boston Scott, obviously. A nice touchdown on uh, first drive there. Then um, Kenny Gamewell, a lot of good runs. Andre Diller played really good. Left tackle last night. Yeah, Flacco was moved around really good in the pocket. He had um, Ross Tucker comparing him to um, uh, Patrick Mahomes out there. He moved well. Definitely moved well last night. Skied the pocket, had some good throws. Rager had a nice catch on the first drive. Nice catch and a nice try to stay alive. Stay off the ground, get some more extra yards there. So Rager, good stuff there. Obviously, Bob Scott, like I mentioned. Kenny Gainwell. Kenny Gainwell was awesome, man. Love that guy. Obviously, great pass catcher. Great job running game last night. Scored a touchdown. And then uh, before we end the first half, final point of the first half there. JJ Ortega, white side, let's go. It's a catch. Uh, a couple plays before that, first catch of the night, first catch of the preseason, and then a couple plays later, 42 yard catch and run for the touchdown. Nice job with Flacco, extended play, like I mentioned, and then throwing it to white side. White side grabbing that ball, defender there, escaping that defender, breaking the next tackle, and getting into the end zone. Awesome to see. It'll be huge for white side there, trying to make this team. I'll get into that in a second there, but uh, obviously, um, second half. Yeah, the offense not much again. Mullins, not a good, not a great quarterback. Obviously, uh, Travis Fulgham, tough play there for him. Uh, has that ball, not really secured though. Ends up getting punched out for a touchback. Travis Fulgham, it's a just rough training camp for him, man. I, I saw he started out getting the first team reps, beginning training camp, but ever since then he's been a slow decline, man. Barely getting any reps. Had a solid day. Tuesday practice I heard, but yesterday, preseason games getting limited action, didn't get much targets, and um. Yeah, it's not looking good for Fogel. We'll see what happens. Obviously, Tuesday, the cuts and everything, but he's probably on the line there. It's going to be tough. We'll see what happens. Uh, defensively, uh, they were, I like to kind of compete yesterday. A little better. Tackle a little bit better. Obviously, uh, not that great. Jaquette out there is being burned all night. Obviously, he had that nice uh, strip late in the game, last minute, two minutes there, stripping the score. But obviously, uh, you said you want to be. Um, in that, in that situation, you don't really want to score if you want to end the game there because they end up Jets end up going back. And this play, if this would happen in regular season game, I would know, would not know what happened, but um, how to react. But that was a crazy ending there. The bomb, hail mary, Boa catches it. No one jumps. No one's in front of the Boa, and uh, they score. They get two point conversion, tie the game up. Final score thirty one thirty one. But it is what it is. But uh, like I said, overall defense. Like I competed yesterday. Miller Williams, good job. Uh, you know, T.Y. McGill, great job there. Teron Jackson, good job. And, uh, yeah, solid stuff. Still get too many points and everything, a the yards. But overall, better effort, better job last night. Defense, Joe Flacco in the offense, second team offense, good job. O-line played good. Running backs, receivers, all pretty darn good. But, again, so it's a uh, preseason finale in the books. Starters are fully healthy. Jalen Hurts, all the starters pretty much stay out of the game. Only Rager and, Wat and uh, Watkins got some snaps there. On offense, besides that, all the starters uh, sat out last night, fully healthy, going to week one. We are now 15 days away from week one. 
But Tuesday comes the cut line down a 53 man roster. Be a lot of uh, last five, six guys. Be some tough uh, decisions there. We'll see what happens. So we'll be back with you guys. Talk about roster and everything. I'll be back at school at Vernia. Uh, my junior year with back with Brock recording episodes there about the roster and everything. But until then, preseason in the books. Two weeks until week one versus the Atlanta Falcons. If you enjoyed this video, please give the video a like, leave a comment about yesterday's game, preseason, about Gardner Minshew becoming an Eagle, and uh, subscribe to the show, and let's go, Birds!